Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com with our update for Tuesday, July 14th, 2020. Free early Tuesday morning KBO action coming up on this report. A couple of quick notes if you've yet to become a member at DocSports.com. Just want to give it a trial run. There's a real cool way to do it. You click on the link below the video, get set up for a free $60 account, and then you can use those free $60 on any of my daily packages or anybody else on the roster at DocSports.com. Again, all you got to do, click on that link below the video. Uh, we took last night off from videos. Our last video was uh, on Saturday night, Sunday morning. We cashed a nice matchup winner right here in NASCAR. We had uh, Alma Rola uh, to get the victory for us over Clint Boyer. That was a nice winner. Uh, but back to Korean baseball. Going to get to the free pick in just a moment right now at DocSports.com. Uh, if you want to jump on board, I do have a four-star Korean baseball total for Tuesday morning's action. If you want to jump on board, you'll have to do so before 12.45 a.m. Eastern time. That's when the plays go down and it is available up until that time now our four-star plays are on a short-term run of four and oh in baseball long-term run of 14 and six so you can go grab that and jump on board if you wish and as far as everything else uh, next soccer play will be available on tuesday at 11 30 a.m eastern 8 30 a.m pacific you can go grab that package now you can grab uh, tuesday morning the play you'll get it automatically after you purchase the package so you can do that at any time and uh, we'll, we will be back it looks like with a six-star play in Tuesday soccer as we're checking out the schedule. So uh, those six star and seven star plays in soccer cashed again over the weekend. We're tearing it up. I mean, if you were betting just $200 per unit, you're up over $11,000 with those plays on this current run. So don't miss out on that on Tuesday. Of course, the KBO for Tuesday morning available right now. Also, a real quick note, Robert Faringo and I on Monday afternoon, we cut those baseball videos that I was talking about the other day, and they should be up uh, sometime this week. You'll be able to see those over at DocSports.com. All right, let's get to the free pick in Korean baseball uh, for Tuesday's card. I'm looking at the matchup between Hanwha and the KT Wiz. Tell you what, the Suwon are on a nice little heater here as they try to stay you know, right there as far as a possible uh, postseason bid. Uh, they've been playing better baseball. They're now the third best run scoring team in the entire KBO. Now the pitching matchup, uh, you've got uh, Despagne going for uh, the Suwon. Here's the thing about Despagne. You look at his numbers overall, they don't look like anything special. But go back and check out his first four games that he started this year. He had 25 punch outs, only allowed five walks in 25 innings pitched in those four games. And it ended up with a 169 ERA and an 094 whip in those outings. Then all of a sudden his walks started going up, his strikeouts definitely started coming down, and you saw a little bit of struggling. In fact, you saw a real bad outing on June 2nd. But if you take away that one horrible, pathetic outing where he was shelled for 10 earned runs and 15 base runners and two home runs in just five innings pitched on June 2nd. His other 12 starts have added up to a 337 ERA and a 119 whip. And now over his last couple of starts, last three starts to be exact, his uh, strikeouts have gone back up. He's got 18 in his last 19 and two thirds innings pitch, only four walks in those three starts. So that ERA all of a sudden starts to come back down and it's a nice 367 in those outings. And now he gets to go up against the worst offense in the entire league, obviously in Hanwha. Worst scoring team, about three and a half runs per game. Second worst team batting average. Second worst offensive slugging percentage. So I think Despagne is going to be just fine. He's going to make it you know, yet another three or four straight starts now where he's going to put up successful numbers. The flip side, you've got Warwick Salpold for the uh, for Hanwha, and we're seeing his numbers go in the other direction. Salpold in his last two starts, he's given up 10 earned runs and 21 base runners in just 11 and a third. And I don't expect uh, Southpold to get the kind of run support he's going to need. We just mentioned Despagne's numbers. And then you look at Hanwha, as far as uh, the batting is concerned, they're just not good at all. Uh, they are dead last also in runs allowed per game. Also, not just that, but they're dead last in opposing batting average allowed, in OPS allowed. It's just not good right now uh, for this team. And we think that with Despagne throwing a better game right now, definitely in his last 
last couple of starts. He'll be able to handle Hanwha and the KT Wiz Bats will do their damage against not only Southpole, but that, that Hanwha bullpen. So uh, we're going to recommend a play on the runs line. Minus a run and a half with KT over Hanwha. And by the way, the juice on the runs line, I've seen anywhere from minus $1.10 up to minus $1.15. So again, the KT Wiz on the runs line laid the run and a half over Hanwha on Tuesday. All right, that's going to do it for us for Tuesday. Don't forget to grab that early morning uh, KBO total that I posted a four-star play. We'll look to make it five straight winners with those plays. Soccer on Tuesday at 11.30 a.m. Eastern. That's the release time. And I'll be right back here Tuesday night between 8 p.m. and 10 p.m. Eastern time. Let's put Tuesday in the win column. I'm Scott Spritz of DocSports.com. And don't forget, if you like the videos, click on that thumbs up and be sure to subscribe.